everyone, this is Tony from iForm Builder, and today I'm really excited to show off the latest release from our development team that is shipping off to the uh, app stores this weekend. Uh, this one is focused around the ability to search within an option list. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in and show you what we've done. You can see I have three different elements up top here, the, uh, the pick list, the multi-select, and the assign to. These are all fields which are driven from a list, if you will. And so what you'll notice is when I tap on the pick list example, um, you have a search bar up top. And um, using this search bar, I can go ahead and start typing in, um, let's see, a few letters. In this case, I am searching for baboon. And there's a number of them which, um, you know, which qualify. So at this point, if I want to see more of the options that are available to me, I can actually just start scrolling through and the keyboard will dismiss. Uh, so I'll go ahead and select this olive baboon here. And if for any reason I didn't like this selection, um, this is this is new as well, I can actually deselect on a pick list. Um, so new enhancement that should make, uh, make things a little bit smoother. We'll go ahead and just stick with the olive baboon and I'll press done. Um, and then just go on and show you the multi-select as well. So this is the same list, I'll just use the same search criteria. Again, we filter down to um, you know the baboons that are in the list, and I'll select a number of these. Go ahead and press done. And so the display here is is just the same. It's just a matter of when you jump in, uh, you have the ability to search through a really large list. Uh, one thing to also point out too, this list is around 1,700 items, and it does load uh, rather quickly for that. Uh, so a couple of improvements on the memory side as well, in addition to being able to search for these options. We'll go ahead and cancel out, stick with our existing selections, and that leads us into the assign to element. Um, again, if you had a number of, um, let's say, around 100 folks collecting data on the same form, this could become really handy if you want to go ahead and assign this record out to the next um, field worker. Uh, same functionality, basically you start typing for, um, you know, start typing letters and then the, the results will dwindle down based on what you've typed. Um, we can actually go ahead and just say X and then all the, um, all the items in the list will reload and we can just pick that way and then cancel out as we normally do. Uh, the last uh, minor update that we've added is also some more built-in variables. As you can see, I have um, three fields here which are actually populated using dynamic values. And you can note the dynamic values are actually in the parentheses for each one of these uh, parameters. So first name, last name, and email address are now going to be built in iForm Builder variables that you can use within your form. Um, so that'll do it. Again, these uh, updates are shipping off to the App Store this weekend, so we hope you enjoy and keep your eyes peeled for the updates coming soon. Thanks and have a great day.